What's up, y'all? This your girl, Drew with the T. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, y'all, let's talk. It's a video going on, going on social media with DJ Academic going in on Gorilla. He actually lashing out on rap artist Gorilla. And I believe this all started a few weeks back ago when YouTuber creator Kai, he's a big influencer in the hip-hop rap industry. He critiqued. Um, a lot of the rap artists is an interview, a lot of them. He had went on to his platform to make a comment about him not liking Gorilla new song, Cha Cha Cha. He didn't like the song. He felt like it was not a good hit. So prior to that, Gorilla and Kai actually had a good relationship. I remember seeing them on live a couple months. It was like a little while back ago, a few months back ago, like probably back in the winter time or earlier spring. So I do know they got a good relationship because I remember seeing them on live before. Um, doing a live before, so they actually had a good relationship. So it seemed like Gorilla kind of got her feelings and got upset when he made a statement about her song. He just said he just stayed in the facts, and I feel like that's part of being a content creator. You don't have to always agree with the rap artists or the entertainers. You have the rights to state your opinion, whatever you feel about it, because if everybody like you, then that becomes like a people pleaser, right? So everybody have a right to like you or dislike you. Shit, that just come with life, right? Everybody not going to support you or like everything or like you, but not like everything about you or support everything you do. Unfortunately, it's real. It happened. So um, he went on to state his opinion. She was not happy about it. Therefore, she went on to her IG to block him off social media, um, which he was like, wow, he was in shock that she would even do that. Because he generally still like her as a person. According to him, he does not like her new song. And I don't even know how DJ Academic got in the mix of this, but I guess he decided to go on and say something, something more about the situation. I don't think he was really fucking with her new trend either. Um, and he kind of said that her era have dried up. So she wasn't happy about that. And she gave a lot of backlash and responded to both of them, DJ Academics and Kai now she decided to possibly unblock Kai um, and DJ and lash out more on DJ Academic. And he got very upset and took it very personal. So he goes on to his, to his platform to just go in on this girl like he went in, in on her. And he just talks about how she a flop, her hits not selling no more. That um, a lot of people bored into her brand when she originally came out because she was relatable she was from the hood. A lot of people liked her music because they could relate to her music. Me, personally, I feel like um, a lot of people probably was rocking with her when she had an Elf and Elf song, especially a lot of women out there who been with, you know, not so good guys and they could relate to being cheated on. And she was like, encouraged women to get into their bag in her own way. Then she had the Tomorrow 2 song to talk a lot of people, ops and people disloyal. And I think people was really rocking with her trend because it was very relatable. Even a lot of guys was actually liking her music, which not common for a lot of guys um, to like a lot of female rappers. But it was a lot of guys on her trend. But he's saying now her season is up, that the industry have changed her. She become the star be like more of a bougie type of person. And she started trying to act more like he said, what do you say? Like a Kardashian or what else he named? Ice, he compared her to Ice Spice and a Cardi and Nicki Minaj saying she not them. And that she was trying to act more on a bougie side. Is, I guess that's what he was trying to say. Or act like um, she started trying to fix herself up more. With a lot of, you know, well, she didn't have any body implants, but like makeup. And she started dressing more provocative. And um, her music trend also changed along with that. And it just seemed like that caused her to lose a lot of fans. Because a lot of people was rocking with her because of the music she was talking about before like the ratchet music a lot of people was rocking with that type of era her talking about getting over guys who treat you bad in her own way and then she went from that to more of a like sexual type of content and i think uh but her last few songs and it seemed like her record sales have went down and you didn't notice that she not a lot on media anymore a lot of people believe sexy red had took her place a lot of people rock with sexy red because she kind of stated her true self she not trying to be somebody that she not um a lot of people feel like she's you know that she even you like her you don't like her she not trying to change anything about her image she's still gonna be sexy red and that whereas 
he was going on to say he feel like Gorilla actually tried to change her image. And that's why a lot of people not fucking with her. So what y'all think? Y'all think Gorilla is a flop? Y'all think he was wrong for going in on her? Y'all can go on his page, check out that interview. Or what do y'all think about this whole situation? Do y'all think she going to be around? Or do y'all agree with him that her season is up and it's pretty much her career is over? Drop y'all comments below. And this is your girl again, Drew with the T. Till next time, y'all be safe out there.